Hello and welcome to Physical Chemistry Laboratory. Today's topic, ionic drift velocity. We want to determine how fast an ion moves in an electrolytic solution. The centerpiece of the apparatus consists of an open U-band to which a glass tube is attached in the band. The tube connects the U-band to a storage funnel. Potassium permanganate solution, in which 80 grams of urea per liter are dissolved, is poured into this funnel with the stopcock closed. The stopcock is opened until the bore of the stopcock is filled with the purple solution. Avoid air bubbles. If there is any colored solution in the U-band above the stopcock, it has to be removed using a thin tube which is connected to a water jet pump. The U-band is then filled with potassium nitride solution up to the 3 cm marking. The two electrodes are placed on the open ends of the U-band and set to the same height. The electrodes are connected to a power supply. The distance between the electrodes is measured using a flexible tube. This distance is used to calculate the required voltage to create an electric field of 1 or 3 volts per centimeter. Then potassium permanganate solution is allowed to rise under the potassium nitride solution by carefully opening the stopcock until the electrodes are immersed. For the interface between the colored and colorless solution to stay reasonably sharp, the setup should not be exposed to any mechanical vibrations. Start the experiment by closing the electrical circuit and start the clock at the same time. The colored anion now moves to the anode. The distance it travels is recorded every two minutes, both in the right and left leg of the U-band. After 25 minutes, the first measurement is completed. More information about the experiment, and especially its evaluation, can be found in the textbook and in the handout. Good luck in the lab, and thanks for watching.